Good afternoon, hello, welcome to the Triathlon Down YouTube channel and another day of triathlon training. I did go out for a run this lunchtime and join me in the evening because it's pitch black outside. Stats on screen, just fired a bit miles, just steady. Didn't feel very good to be honest, felt a bit tired from the longer ride last night, but got it done nonetheless. Now I'm just in the living room because Liz is just going to, well she actually just told me she was looking for a video on YouTube to play on the TV to do a workout. So she's just selected 30 minute high intensity cardio workout with warm up. Are you ready? Just warming up. <laughs> Liz, do you need your mat rolling out? Yeah, I'm just psyching myself up for this workout. Oh, yeah. What sort of stuff's it involved, you know, or is it a surprise? Absolutely. Never done this one before. Brilliant. Well, I'm all right for a cup of tea, thank you. Thanks for offering. Let's go and get the bike. Okay, so tonight's session, I'm already making excuses for myself. I'm feeling pretty tired from <laughs> spitting everywhere. I'm feeling pretty tired from. That mountain bike ride last night was pretty hard. And of course, running lunch today was just keeping the fatigue there. So, the session is with the semi squad three times eight minutes, the sweet spot, and then two minutes threshold at the end of those eight minutes. So, it's three times 10 minute efforts in total with three minutes recovery. So, in numbers that eight minutes at 325 for me, and then two minutes at 360. I'm going to see how it goes. I'm not sure about those two minute kicks at the end. I'm already two minutes into the sweet spot and my legs are hurt a little bit. But we'll see how we go. I think Liz is doing high intensity, so I can't wimp out of this. Oh, let's get stuck in. Oh, ride done and dusted. Now, that could have been a lot better, but I'll tell you what it also could have been. It could have been a lot worse. Just got to clean my mess up. Cool little thing, this. So, uh, the first two were okay, but it was really hard to finish the second one. And then obviously, because it gets harder. The third one, so on the final eight minute interval, I was just, I felt like I was going like max effort to finish it. I didn't have a, a kick in me to lift it for the last two minutes. So, I'd say my, I'll leave the stats on screen now. I can't remember, I don't, I don't know what the actual splits were, but the last eight minutes, I'd say were probably about 310 watts ish, it feels like. So, a bit lower than 325 the first one and two. And then the last two minutes, I just didn't have it in me to, to kick on. So, I've only missed two minutes effort and probably been a little bit off the power on the last one. So that's not the end of the world. Now, if it wasn't for the Send It Squad, so the group that I was training with online, I'm pretty sure I'd have started the session, I'd have done some of it, but I'm pretty sure I'd have pulled the pin after the second block. I wouldn't have been motivated enough to get into that third big block. But although we're not talking during it because we're just training hard, we're on Zoom so people can see you. People can see what power you're doing, Sean Zwift, you can see the you know, watts per kilo. And I don't feel the pressure for them to do it, otherwise I'm letting them down, but it's a little bit of like good pressure, like positive pressure. Like I can see these guys all pressing on and getting it done. Like even Matt Waterfield's doing it. So if he's doing it, I need to do it. So that motivated me on. So thank you very much, guys. If you want to get involved in some sort of group training, I'll launch another one in the new year. Anyway, I'm going to go and wolf some tea down me. Thank you very much, Elizabeth, for preparing tea. Some sort of pasta thing, I think. And then go into the pool. So I will see you at the pool. So I guess I'm just one of those people that vlogs in public places now. Sorry if my skin's a bit dry, but that's what happens post-swimming. I thought I'd just show you what I picked up post-swim. This is often a time when I struggle and like will reach out for something like sugary, chocolate sweets, those sorts of things. But I'm really understanding a bit more now that I don't need to do that. I need to think through what I'm eating. Yes, I might be really hungry. So when I got off the bike, I didn't have time to eat much tea. I had like three or four mouthfuls of pasta. I had an OTE rice cake bar and then went swimming. I had an okay swim to be honest, I just kept it really cruisy because I didn't fit well, I didn't feel very fueled to be honest. And I was protecting the shoulder. But anyway, there's Tesco's near swimming. So what I've done, I've come and picked up some yogurts. Now, in the car for me, it used to be a bit of a like danger time. I'd always like eat something as I'm driving. So the reason I picked up these is because they're also in a little squeezy thing, so I can eat them on the way home safely. A couple of yogurts because they're four for three quid. And then these grenade bars, now I really like the salt of caramel being a personal favourite, but I've stopped buying the multi-pack boxes because I just eat too many of them. They are in my plan, I do have them every now and again, but I was reaching to them like a snack and having too many. So if they're not in the house, I'm not going to eat them. I feel like I'm getting somewhere with my self-control, but when there are some things there that I see as a treat, like I still, I still a bit weak, like I still can't always turn away from it. So that's what I'm doing. So I'm having, we're gonna have one now on the way home and one of these yogurts. And then I don't think I'll have anything else tonight. I don't particularly want to start eating a big bowl of pasta at, it's 10 past nine now, so it'll be about half past 20 to 10 by the time I get back. And um, yeah, that should be good. I mean, this Pets Max Cherry must be on the wrong shelf or something. I've obviously not, obviously not picked that up. It was just, just here to use the shelf. 
Anyway, I'm going to end today's video there in Tesco's, as you do. Good day's training, real good day's training. I know I missed an interval on the bike and my swim session was just mostly easy, but I'm taking that. I'm really happy. So thank you very much for watching. If you haven't already, please do hit the subscribe button down below and I'll see you tomorrow at one o'clock for probably some more triathlon training. Let's do it.